So I had to take down my medals from my wall and I thought, why not place them on the floor and take a little video and maybe organize them chronological so I can go through and year by year see what race did I do. And also, if you happen to have those medals, go ahead and comment on the comments below and see if you, do you have the same medals? Which one is your favorite marathon? And whether you are dating them or not, because some of them don't have a date on them. I did one in 2004. That's when I started my marathons, but that one's in a frame and stored. But I'll start with 2005 Los Angeles Marathon. 2005 is my second marathon. I believe it was around four hours and, I mean, three hours and 40 minutes. Then I went in 2005, did the, I mean, 2006, I did the LA Marathon again. Then in June of that year, I did the San Diego Marathon. Did a couple of 10Ks. Those are the little medals. Then 2007, I do the LA Marathon one more time. I then do the Portland Marathon. This is when I moved to Spokane, Washington, and I traveled over there. The other ones, I was still living in Ventura, California. 2008, I've got four marathons that I did. I did the LA Marathon again in 2008. Then I did the Coeur d'Alene Marathon, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho in May. Also in May, I did the Windermere Marathon and then the Portland Marathon again in 2008. And that was all for 2008. In 2009, I do the Missoula Marathon in Missoula, Montana. That's in July. Before that, I did the, in May, I did the Coeur d'Alene Marathon again, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. In October 2009, I did the Spokane Marathon. Somewhere in October, I believe, I went to Grand Rapids to visit family, and I did the Half Marathon in 2009. 2010, I only did a couple of races. One was a triathlon, Half Ironman Distance Triathlon in Cooley Dam. And I also did the Seattle Marathon that's in November. That Both of these were 2010. And I'll do 2011. I believe I have a few races. One is a marathon, Windermere Marathon in May of 2011. As I'm getting ready to train for the full Ironman, I did the, well, first I did the full Ironman in May, oh no, this was in June of 2011. It's got the date on there. That's the full Ironman, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Shortly after that, I believe in September 24 of 2011, I did the Priest Lake Marathon and actually won the full marathon. Not with a great time. I believe that time was around four hour marathon all right moving on to 20 well, we'll go to 20 2012 2012 was a lot of races in 2012 started off 2012 wanting to qualify for the boston marathon because i had been training now for six years uh relentless in the and those past marathons Every marathon that I did, I thought, oh, I'm gonna qualify this time. But finally, the Windermere, with uh, three hours and 16 minutes, I was able to qualify. I, shortly after that, on the same month, I did the Coeur d'Alene Marathon, and I think I won my age group, and that's why I have two of those. But yeah, and in April of 2012, oh no, so basically, I qualified in 2011. So that wasn't the qualifying time. I qualified in 2011, but in 2012 of April, I did the Boston Marathon. And I did some other races. Uh, that's one local race, uh, Justin Hager, 10 miler. And also St. June, St. Joe River Marathon. That one, I don't know if they still have it, but it's in June of 2012, which I got a award for winning my age group. Then in July of 2012, I did the Missoula Marathon again. 
the metal has changed if you see it's now a horseshoe they have that for quite a few years after that i got the hot summer 10k in memory of scott roy which used to be he was our triathlon coach who passed away and that was in his memory then i did the spokane marathon in 2012. then i did a 50k which was pretty cool i won the first place for that race this is the medal for finishing that is the award for getting first place in the 50k and 2013 was pretty crazy as well i started with a triathlon half ironman distance uh training for the full ironman i've got those for placing on a couple of the triathlons a smaller distance then i did the saint joe again in june and then um Shortly after that, I went and did the full Ironman in 2013. That was my last full Ironman distance triathlon. I then did the Missoula Marathon again. You can see it's a shoe. It's a horseshoe again in Jul for July. Missoula, Montana Marathon. Spokane Marathon in October. I did the Malibu Marathon 2013 in November. Then we move on to 2014. 2014 was also an awesome year very prolific in my running i did the started in march with the snake river marathon that's a half marathon bloomsday 7.4 mile race in spokane washington in may the Troika triathlon half fireman distance 10 miler the sunday sunday because you get a sunday after the race then i went to connecticut in the field fair connecticut half marathon and then my goal was to beat a three-hour marathon, and I did it. I was 301, but I've got the first place Masters in Missoula Marathon. That has been my fastest marathon so far, 301. And that was a surprising because I left. I was disappointed that I didn't break the three-hour, but then I received these awards in the mail. So that was pretty awesome. A 20... 14 the spokane marathon in october 2014 and then las vegas i believe that was in november and then uh rock and roll marathons we got quite a few medals that were just for doing different distances and you got a combination of doing the three distances they would give you another medal so some of these are just for doing more than one race on the same date we move on to 2015 2015, we got Troika again in May, and then some some of the uh, rock and roll marathons in 2015. I believe we purchased the series, so we're trying to do the series. But in there, we squeezed another Priest Lake, the 50K, and the 50K. I did it again in 2015. Then I did other marathons and races of the rock and roll. As you see, they're giving you all kinds of them medals for doing different races. I did the Denver Marathon, which I won third place in an AM award. That one's also um, stashed away. I haven't got it out, but uh, Rock and Roll does awesome awards. I got one uh, Cascadia for doing the Northwest Marathons. I did Portland Marathon Rock and Roll. I did Seattle Marathon Rock and Roll 2015. I did Vancouver Half Marathon in Vancouver, Canada and the 10k vancouver canada and then those are for doing the combination of those marathons okay then we move on to 2016 over here 2016 was also a pretty good year we started with bloomsday 7.4 in uh, ventura did a 10k missoula right before doing the marathon in missoula 2016 and then ending with the light at the end of the tunnel in June. We move on to 2017 and I got the Snake River Half Marathon in Washington. Then I got the Coeur d'Alene Marathon in May of 2017. Ventura, where I'm from, Ventura, California, I did that one sometime in the summer of 2017. I don't know the exact date. And uh, my suggestion is that you write down the dates on the medals that don't have them. Because I have here one that is um, first place for one of my marathons. But 
It doesn't have a date. It doesn't say which marathon it was, and I forgot. If you recognize it, let me know in the comments what race do you think this 2017 award is from. Here's a Utah Valley Marathon in Utah Valley, 2017. The Spokane Marathon again in October, 27. Then we move on to 2018. So 2018 started off with the Snake River, which is one of the earliest races in uh, half marathon in Snake River, Washington. Then we have uh, Bloomsday. We have Mad Half Marathon. That's in the state of Vancouver. No, uh, the state of Vermont. But I don't, I forgot the name of the town. <laughs> There's another award from the Spokane Marathon third place, but I don't know for which date and which one it was. The negative split, I have the negative split on Spokane and the negative split Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Then in the summer of 2018, I did the Spokane to Sandpoint. That was a group run from Spokane. We go all the way to Sandpoint and overnight. We were all in a van. Then I have the St. George. That was a nice race because I got a 305. I was still trying to beat the three hour. Couldn't quite do it. 305 for St. George. Then the Spokane Marathon and also in October. We move on to 2019. 2019, I have the negative splits. Negative split for Windermere Marathon. The negative split for CDA Marathon. And I have these awards. Once for first place half marathon once for each group half marathon again i didn't put the dates on those so i don't know exactly which ones they are mount hood portland that was a full marathon i remember it was a 309 still trying to beat thinking that a downhill marathon would be better not not so 2020 was pretty dry if you guys remember there was a lot of the races got canceled we were able to do um distance running on Coeur d'Alene. They just, you had to keep your distances. There weren't very many runners. And then I have that one that is a virtual run medal. It's a mask, but it's pretty cool to have that in remembrance of 2020 COVID. 2021 was, there's still a lot of races that weren't going on. I did the, the Coeur d'Alene Marathon, the Jackass Half Marathon, and the Rebel Big Bear Marathon 2021. Then we went to 2022. Things started to pick up a little bit. This is another one that didn't have a date on it. So I just put in 2022 because I believe that's when it was Hiawatha Trail Half Marathon. Then uh, Coeur d'Alene Marathon in May. I did the series four marathons in four days in four different states, which was Nebraska, Wyoming, South Dakota and North Dakota. It's called the oh, Center of the Nations Series Marathon. I did the Diamond Triathlon. It's uh, That was a sprint, it was a very short distance uh, triathlon. Knoxville, Tennessee, that was a virtual one that I did. Then 2023, last year was, again, it, things picked up. I started in January doing the Texas uh, Marathon in January, which is Sugar uh, Sugarland, Texas Marathon, the Shamrock Marathon in Virginia, Myrtle Beach, 10K in Myrtle Beach the day before, then Day of the Dead. I believe that one was a virtual one again. Then I went to Milwaukee and did the Lakefront Marathon in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We went to New Mexico and did the Duke City Marathon. And I got two medals there because I got first place for my age group. I did the Windermere Marathon in May. I did the Alaska Marathon on that same year. Then I did the crossing in the summer. This is a swim, a 2.4 mile swim. And it's a beautiful marrow. It's called the Crossing in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Then in October, I did the Half Ironman in Maple Valley. Christmas, did a virtual Christmas run. Got a nice medal for that. All right, 2024. That's this year. 
we start off with Mount Diablo. This one went to near San Jose and the race got canceled. I had to run it virtually. It was a virtual run. Then in, is it April 6th of 2024, we did Mount Charleston in Las Vegas. That was a nice race. Shortly after that in May, we did White Mountain Rebel. So these three are all for the Rebels and it's a series of three of them. One in San Jose, one in Mount Charleston and one in White Mountain, New England. Okay, after that, May I did, I was the pacer for the half marathon Windermere. Then I did the half Ironman 70.3 in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And just this past, and which is my last races that I did, was the Heartland Series, seven half marathons, seven consecutive days in seven states. It was Ohio, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. And that is it for this year. I have nothing scheduled right now, but I am going to schedule some races. It's a good way to stay motivated, to stay shape in the spirit of the olympics we all do our best so you guys i hope you're staying motivated i hope you're staying active stay triumphant